Hey folks, in the last nonlinear controls video, I derived an adaptive controller. So I started with MX double dot equals U here and went through the whole derivation by hand and uh, came up with this uh, five state model here and basically said it was stable. And so I wanted to do was code it in Python. And so I've, I've already started this video kind of late. So I've already got most of it uh, written out. Uh, so I've got numpy, matplotlib, and scipy.integrate to integrate the equations of motion. I've got a derivatives routine where the state vector is five states. And again, if you go here, I've got x, x dot, x model, x model dot, and then the mass, hat, the mass estimate, mass hat. Um, and so those are those five states here. Um, I have hard-coded parameters. Um, obviously here, I, I'm, I'm like simulating adaptive controller and I'm simulating the deflant dynamics at the same time. So I kind of, I know what the mass is, but the controller doesn't. Um, lambda here hits the, uh, hits the closed loop error dynamics here. The uh, lamb one and lamb two are the uh, model dynamics. And then uh, gamma is this uh, estimation parameter here, gamma. Um, right now I'm making the reference signal equal to 1.0. Um, I've got my error signals between x and x model, x dot and x model dot. And then um, I've got my model dynamics here. Let me make, is that, is that really what x, yeah, x tilde is x minus x model. That's also e. Yeah, I still don't understand why they do x tilde in some areas. Like it, later on in the book they use e. Anyway, so here's the model dynamics. Here's the uh, controller, so it's just m hat v. So this is a feedback linearization controller, except instead of using m, we're using m hat. But then we've got um, m hat dot down here. Um, x double dot is just u divided by m. So those are the known plant dynamics that we're trying to control. Um, we do have full state feedback with no sensor errors, but you know, I mean, we got to start somewhere. Um, I do need to return the derivatives, so I need x dot, x double dot, x model dot, x model double dot, and m hat dot um, in an array. Um, I then make uh, t out vector here. Um, I have initial conditions. I assume that I have perfect feedback, at least in the beginning, so my model and my state vector started the same. Um, I already forgot what the mass was, um, but I'm going to assume that my initial guess on mass is 1. I'm not going to make it zero, obviously, because if I divide by mass, it's going to blow up. So I'm just going to do one right there. Um, here are my initial conditions, and here is my state. And I was about to plot. Um, let me actually run this and see if I don't get any, any errors. And uh, of course I do. Um, is there a help function here? No, of course not. Um, so we're just going to go to the Google. So I'm going to do uh, scipy dot integrate od int and we're gonna look at the reference guide here and so you need to give it a a dy dt is this it i feel like this isn't it yeah od int here we go you give it the function you give it the initial conditions and you give it the time vector so function initial conditions time vector um, and then the dy dt is supposed to be y comma t, um, zero, one, two, three. Oh, I, that's why I have a three and a five. It's supposed to be four. Okay. Let's give that a go. Let's see too many values to unpack. So what does this return? Um, parameters returns. It just returns. A, uh, a Y array. Yeah, so. Oh, okay, I'm sorry. It just returns Y and it's the, the number of rows is length to T. Okay, so then it's just, it just gives me state out. Okay, so let's run that. Okay, cool. So then state out, if I do uh, np.shape of state out. Okay, cool. I've got a thousand rows and five columns. Okay, so now I can start plotting. So I'm gonna do, I'm gonna extract my states. So the first thing I wanna plot is, I guess I wanna plot X model, X and X model. So X out is state out 
of all comma zero and then x model out is state of all comma let's see i already forgot it is the the third column second index and then i'm going to do plt.figure plt.plot t out x out and i'm going to do label um state uh, x and then plt.plot t out comma x model out label equals x model plt dot show uh, let's throw a grid down okay and there we go so oh i forgot to throw the uh, legend down plt dot legend uh, so i didn't simulate long enough let's simulate a little bit longer let's simulate for like 30 seconds Okay, cool. So um, it looks like the model sort of kicks off and uh, our air, we lag behind it and then overshoot it. Uh, it'd, be, it'd be cool to plot the uh, error dynamics actually. So we can do plt.figure, plt.plot, t out, and then x out minus xm out, and then plt.grid, PL, and then that's it. Uh, so the first one is our our model, and then okay, so there are error dynamics which are closed loop stable, like we would expect them to, which is neat. Um, so then let's plot the uh, mass here. So plt dot figure, plt dot plot uh, t out and hat out, and then I guess I need to do m hat out, which is state out of all comma four. And let's see what we get here. And there's our map. Oh, I forgot the grid. Let's see, plt.grid. And what's interesting, and the book kind of said this was going to happen, that if you um, just put in a constant input, you're not actually going to estimate your mass parameter. And so that this is what I wanted to try. So the book says that if you do, let's see. Yeah, if you put in sine of 4t and you sim so those of you simulate for three seconds, but they also had different parameters. So I'm going to just do um, sine of t. So np dot sine of t. And let's see that. So there's our, our reference. It looks like our error is slowly coming down and it looks like our mass estimate is slowly getting there. So our, our tuning is pretty terrible. Let's simulate for this for 100 seconds. So it looks like this is getting better, this is getting better, and then our mass estimate, it looks like it's still going up. What was our actual mass? So our mass is actually five, so let's crank this up. Let's do what they said. Let's do, you know, 4T. Let's really give this a go here. So there's our aerodynamics coming down. There's our mass trickling up. So we're, we're getting there, we're just not simulating long enough. Is my? I wonder if I just crank up my gamma See if I can converge faster. It's supposed to be closed loop stable no matter what. So that did definitely, it is converging faster. So let's just try three. Uh, we've got full state feedback and full control. So I feel like it's not going to blow up on us. Okay, so, oops. Can I bring this back? So there's figure one, figure two, and then sweet. So it looks like it's definitely asymptotically approaching five. So I guess if we go go for gold here, simulate for a thousand seconds, uh, I'll probably take forever. But eventually that's aliasing. That's an error signal down to zero. And look at that. So it looks like it took 400 seconds. So I, I don't know if you've seen those like auto tune controls from like the Pixhawk controllers, but this is basically like what you're doing. You're, you're wiggling this thing like crazy. Um, and slowly estimating the mass. And at least in this case, it takes a really long time to, uh, to estimate this. I, I kind of, I really want to do this on a real drone. Um, I think this would be really neat. Um, I know, I know Pixhawk already has some auto tune controllers built in, but you know, Hey, um, okay. That's it for this video. Um, I've got a derivation of another, um, adaptive controller for the same problem and, uh, I'm going to test it here and then, uh, report back if it works. Cool. All right, hopefully that helped uh, you guys uh, look at this and uh, happy coding.